Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Broku Cast. And uh, man, it's been a while since I said those words. Yes, guys, we are back with the 35th episode. Crazy, I know, right? I want to make a public announcement. The reason why there have been like two episodes, two episodes for the past couple of weeks is because, well, for those that know, I started a new job. And my new like schedule for my new job is complicated, I would say. And so I'm trying to work on what day to release videos and what day not to due to me working at my new job. So I just want to clarify that. But don't worry, it's all taken care of because today we got a lot to talk about. Geets? Oh, I said Geets, no. Geets, King Oger, what the heck's going on with my channel right now, and other future content that's coming up. So then, yeah, let's begin. So, how was, my, how was my week? Pretty good. Decent. It was interesting, I'll say at least, but it wasn't all that bad. So, let's talk about the, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Broku, you're not on Twitter anymore. Yes, I'm not. Ah, sorry, well done. Sorry about that drinking water. But yes, it is true. I am not on Twitter right now. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not deleting my account. No, no. I'm not. I'm taking a break from Twitter right now because I've been feeling. Very negative and annoying, annoying like a lot of my friends, and uh, I just, I just want to stop with that. So I decided to take a look. So I decided, I said, ah, sorry. So I decided that I'm gonna take a break from it to reflect on myself and change my ways. So, so which is why I'm not on Twitter right now. So yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna be off of social. I'm gonna be off of not social media. I'm going to be off of Twitter for a while. So, so, so yeah, that's the full context. That's the reason why I'm not on Twitter right now. And also, uh, I want to say this. You guys, you guys really love that, uh, Shadow Moon video. Like, my goodness, Jesus Christ. And it's crazy, though, because his figure is getting shipped from Premium Banner US to everyone else that bought off that website. Now I didn't. I bought the Japanese release, which is why I had early, which is why I had it way earlier than my friends did. But uh, I, but I can say this figure is very good. If you haven't seen Black Sun, then uh, that's okay. You can still buy the figure. Personally, this figure is better than Black Sun in my opinion, but that's just me. The articulation, the scope, the accessories, Tomashi went all in on this guy, and I can't wait. I can't wait till I can't wait till I, I have till I go pre-order the Zavirian Number Skull in a cultural. I will. I will eventually, but not now. I do have I do have the bike coming this month, Battle Hopper, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like the last uh. Shit, that shit, that's like the last uh fucking item on my pre-order list for this month. Because let's see, I got my Ami Ami haul this week. That was a fun video I made. I just re I just uploaded today my review on my sin on the Sinkoku Seiho uh double extreme amazing figure, but but I already talked about my issues with that figure as well. And uh oh yeah. I posted on Twitter, well not Twitter, sorry, on Instagram and on the community tab that I got, uh, I, I got a figure from my Holy Grail that I've been trying to get ever since, well, 2020, you'll say, but, uh, I finally have him now, he's, he's, well, he's amazing, not perfect, no, but he's amazing, he doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, well, I'm playing with him right now, but, uh, I'm talking about the uh, Figma Kamari Onyx. Hey, Figma, Broku, I think me figure. Nope. The figure art for you guys too expensive. I missed out on pre ordering the figure right stands, Mal Kit. And also, at the same time, I'm 
also happy that I didn't pre-order that model kit. Cause I just really don't like model kits, dude. I mean, they're fun to build, but at the same time, they are annoying to build as well. Especially with those freaking stickers. God, I hate those stickers. Anyway, I said to myself, you know what? Since I missed on the on the figure on the figure wise pre order for the model kit, there's no way in hell I'm buying the fucking uh, figure art for being too damn expensive. If I find, if I if I can find that fucker for a cheap price on it, then yay for that. But yeah, not right now. Hell no. Nah. So I said, you no, know, my best option just to go with, just just go with the next one. Buy a buy the Figma Onyx and let that represent you got my collection. Well, fuck it is. Because why? Like, okay, so let's see. On my fucking desk, I have I have my Figma Onyx right next to me, and I and I have right across from me my my Ryuga Tape I bought off Tokyo Collectibles. I think you guys, I think you guys see a pattern here that I love Yuga. <laughs> because here's a fun fact about me: my zodiac animal sign is actually a dragon. Wait, really? Yes, two thousand to two thousand was the year of the dragon, and uh, that's my zodiac sign. And Kamen Ryuki came out two thousand two. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ryuga suit. It's my favorite suit in the whole franchise due to mostly also due to Dragon Knight because well I watched Dragon Knight before I watched Ryuki so it's also that too and uh, I, I, I remember I remember seeing that suit for the first time in Comrade Dragon Knight saying, and I said to my I think I said I said it to myself I love this suit cut because his suit was the coolest all black a black dragon and a black Visor? Oh heck yeah. He just he he's <laughs> Onyx was basically Dragonite but but more cooler. Then uh Kit Taylor then uh, we find out the reveal in the foreshadowing why Kit been having so many dreams connected to Onyx. But I love that. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And uh and seeing this suit in the first, seeing this suit for the first time in the Yuki movie, again, I fell in love with it. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, that's Onyx suit. <gasps> oh, okay, I get it. This is where the suit came from. I love it. I, I real, I love it. I love that suit. <laughs> I think it's best to clarify that I'm probably the number one Kamarada Ryuga slash Onyx fan because fuck, dude. I love this suit. I love everything about it. Yes, it's a fucking repaint, but hear me out. This suit is sexy. It's gorgeous. And I and I do love how... I do love how in the Ryuki movie, you don't, you don't... I'm not the biggest fan of the episode final movie. I do love how Ryuga's eyes light up red. And from his visor, when when he's in the dark or somewhere very dark looking, because we Ryuki Ryuki suit the exact same way but different. But I love it. But I love it. I love I, I love that small aspect for Ryuga's suit. Not just that. I just find Dark Sinji more well cooler and more edgy. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, he is edgy, but here's thing, I like him because he's more edgy. I find his whole concept about, oh, I want to, oh, I'm going to leave the mirror world right, right after I kill every camera. I'm like, let, I'm like, let my boy win for once. God damn. Like, dude, I'm a sucker for this suit. When I saw that, when I saw the poster for the, for the, for the Geats in a Revice movie, where I saw you guys down, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait, no, <gasps> my, no, Toei, you're not, <gasps> it is, my edgy boy, my boy, Ryuga is back, let's fucking go, 
I gotta keep it down. It's nighttime right now, and my family, my family's asleep. But uh, yeah, I was excited. I was actually excited for this. Again, I love this suit, and uh, seeing this suit in twenty twenty three makes me happy and fanboy at the same time, and I love it because. Because when I watched the uh, Geach and Revice movie, when when Ren and Ryuga appear, I lost my shit. I was fanboying for both of those two. And I was like, okay, yeah, I love this. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that, but I was fanboying. When, when, I was fanboying though when Ren and Ryuga appear. I was like, <gasps> yes, let's go. <laughs> No joke, I lost my shit and jumped out of my seat when I saw those two on screen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make it clear now. I'm the number one Kamen Rider Ryuga slash Onyx fan on tr in the trick in the Toku community. And I will stand by that title. Just like I got on the number one biggest Decca Ranger fan slash Black Sun fan slash Bill fan. Fuck you guys. <laughs> okay. But uh, I am the number one Kamen Rider Ryuga slash Onyx fan. Like, I, will, I fucking love this suit. Hell, if I had the money on me, I would have cosplayed for this suit. For like, fuck, Power Morphicon or something. <laughs> I'm not going to, but uh, <laughs> I would. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to, but I would. I'm sorry, dude, but there's some. But, all right, listen. Oh shit, I, I didn't mean. I didn't mean hit my desk. Listen, I like. Listen, I like Ryuki slash Dragon Knight suit. I do, but at the same time, Ryuga suit's ten times cooler in my opinion. Minus the minus minus the part that it's just a recolor. The freaking visor, the the color black, all this, oh my goodness. It's so freaking good, dude. I can't explain why. It's just, I, I have the figure on my hand right now. I had the figure on my hand right now while I'm talking about why I love this suit. But, dude, just, oh my goodness. I love this suit. First time seeing it, as a, first time seeing it when Dragon Knight came out. I was actually like really confused about 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 why Kit why Kit no longer Dragon Knight and why he became Onyx. But uh, now that I'm all grown up, I could basically say that uh, I enjoyed the foreshadowing they did with with Kit and the uh, Onyx deck. Although that. Was, that was actually pretty clever, and uh, I get the. Uh, I understand why. Why? Okay. So you know how Ryuki, there's two versions of Kido. There's a good version of Kido, which is Ryuki himself, but there's also his dark side, his evil side, I'll say, which is well, his mirror self, Ryuga, or Dark Shinji. We, I, as many people call him, I call him Evil Shinji. Cause well. I prefer I prefer Dark Sinji more than well original Sinji. I just I don't like Sinji. I, I like it I like his evil self more, but that's just my opinion. But uh But uh okay. Okay. <laughs> my bad. But uh in Dragon Knight Kit had Kit keep having nightmares about about him in the Onyx suit. The motherfucker had a dream of, of the Onyx suit attacking him. Then he had another dream, well slash nightmare of him basically him basically going to the dark side and uh killing well venting Len and uh basically killing uh Case as well. They they well well find out that was a dream. And then we find out why. Because 
because the Onyx deck been talking to him in his dreams. It been it it been trying it been trying to communicate him to say that say that he's ready to use the deck. Well, he did all right. <laughs> I asked, I actually prefer, I actually prefer Kit Taylor more as Onyx because I don't know, I don't know. I just love it when a hero wears all black. Because okay, perfect example, Spider Man. We all know Peter Parker has two iconic suits that are fan favorite in the in in all the media. His red and blue suit, but also the symbiote suit. My favorite, my favorite Spider Man costume, because I love it. I loved I loved that suit because well again I'm a sucker for the color black my favorite color and okay <laughs> now the symbiote suit is, is the symbiote suit in my opinion is Peter Parker's best suit right next to the 29 what wait no hold on wait hold on Oh, he did not wear 299. That's Miguel here. My bad. I mean, big time. Right, right, right next to the big time suit, in my humble opinion. Or I inspired. Or I inspired. The symbiote suit, I like to say that that's basically, that suit is basically when Peter is facing his dark side. And, uh, at the same time, he's using that suit to fight, to fight for justice. Now, I say this because the Onyx Onyx suit in Dragon Knight is basically the symbiote suit. <laughs> the, oh, no, the Onyx deck is basically the symbiote suit for Kit. And uh, and uh, that suit, that deck, been keep having that that deck will keep giving Kit weird dreams slash nightmares. And uh, it been because the deck been telling him that he's ready to be. He's ready. He's ready to use that deck when the time is needed. I'm sorry, guy. I just, I just love this suit so much. But uh, yeah. But yeah, I have the figma right next to me. I have the we got tape right next. To me. Oh damn, Boku! The only thing that missing is just his CSM deck. His CSM deck. Uh, about that. <laughs> about that. Uh, well, I have that deck on pre-order. Funny enough. Wait, what? Yeah, I have that deck on pre-order. <laughs> well, not pre-order. I ordered the deck off eBay, and uh, I'm going to guess it's going to get here It's gonna get here this week. But, uh, yeah, I had the deck, and, uh, and that's the last piece of a You Got merch I'm buying for now. It'll be crazy if I make a fucking shrine to this damn suit. I'm not going to, but, like, it'd be fun if I did. If I made, like, a whole giant collection towards it. But, nah, I'm not going to. Just let me go hunt down the essays figure art, even though I just said yeah, I'm not going to buy <laughs> But yeah. I'm oh, sorry. But yeah, uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm basically, to clarify this, the number one Ryuga slash Onyx fan, and I will stand by that title. From now on, anything Ryuga slash Onyx related you see on social media, fucking tell me about it, okay? <laughs> because I must, I must prove my superiority why I love this suit so much. And for people, if people are gonna ask me, Boku, if you could choose any deck, in uh, if, if you could choose like any deck. In Ryuki slash Dragon Lane, which deck will you be? Well, I made clear. Again, my Zodiac sign is a fucking dragon. I'm going to Ryu in my favorite color. My Zodiac sign 
my zodiac animal effect is a dragon due to the fact that I was born in well 2000. My favorite color is the color black, and onyx suit represents both of that a dragon, well, a dragon, and the suit all black. I, I love it. I fucking love it. So, I would basically, I would basically use that deck. Why? Cause fuck say that deck, that deck's overpowered as shit, dude. Like no joke. This is this no joke. Okay, okay. Let's talk about fucking. Uh, let, let's talk about Ryuga for a second. This is the same motherfucker that beat the shit out of them with no hesitation. He did not hold back, not one bit. He used his brute, he used his brute fucking force. He went full, he went, he literally just said, yeah, no, I fuck this, fuck this bitch. I'm going all out, I'm going to kill her. And this nigga basically did that. Hey, huh? Sorry. But yeah, this nigga basically did that. He, <laughs> he basically beat the shit out of her. Until Sinji came in and saved her the last second, but, uh, yeah, this motherfucker literally, this motherfucker went, literally beat the shit out of her. And let's not forget the beatdown he did to Oja, like, my god. While Fem got the final kill, f final kill, yes, but this motherfucker Ryuga came out of nowhere, saved her, then beat the shit out of Oja. Like my God, and yeah, I yeah I thought yeah I fucking thought a soccer I, I thought fucking a soccer's gonna lift your whole move now, no that motherfucker that, that motherfucker got vented, he's dead, <laughs> he got cooked, that's for sure. But ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about the the spinoff. What spinoff, Goku? So, for those who don't know, in 2018, when Comrade Zio was happening, there's an episode. There's an episode, well, a three spin off special that take place after the Ryuki, episode, Ryuki tribute episodes in Zio called Rider Time Ryuki. And this special is, well, it's a. How can I say this? In my opinion, I like to call it it's a. Weird slash fanfic special, but I actually like it. Funny enough, if if written by our boy No Way, cause of course it is. Also, gay sex. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, this motherfucker Ryuga went up to guy. Why I want to say that? You, you for those who don't know, don't for those, for those who don't know. Guy is my one of my actually my least favorite writer in we in we you kick I find the guy really 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 annoying like he just doesn't shut the fuck up and that's all when this motherfucker was whining about about Tedka about about Tedka not getting him love love in the special you got Pierre out of nowhere I said oh yeah I'll give you some love by killing you, and he just, he fucking henshin, and beat the shit out of this motherfucker, with no hesitation. And, um, dog, nah, this motherfucker, th this motherfucker almost beat the shit out of Oja too, until Ren came in and said, oh, I'm sorry, Sokka, the only person, only person gonna beat Kido is me. And, well... Shit, shit, he definitely, shit, he, he, shit, Red One's lying about that. That's probably why, maybe, that's probably one, maybe, reason why I wanted to go buy the night, the week night Figma, because I heard it's really good. That's a good Figma. I am going, I do have plans, I do have plans on um, ordering, ordering it one day, just not now. Why? Well, I had no money on me. <laughs> like, literally, I spent, like, a lot of money this, this month already, you know. I'm trying to save up for a upcoming trip I got in September. So, 
unfortunately, right now, I have no funds in my account for, like, entertainment. Because, well, all I got, all I got, like, a lot, all I got, like, a lot of entertainment with me already. I'm not trying to be, like, DSP and spend all his fucking money while, <laughs> while being fucking debt. Because, well, well, that motherfucker, that motherfucker is in debt. In debt. He didn't pay a single thing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, that was that, that, yeah, that works out pretty good. Sorry, but back when I was saying, this maybe you got was basically just giving no fuck, no fucks needed. And you know what? Okay, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it. Let's talk about, let's talk exhibit Z, exhibit exhibit C. Let's talk about. Onyx says, well, a man can't counterpart. In the dream, Kit had, this motherfucker was beating the shit out of him. It beat the shit out of Ren, the invented Ren, well, Len, and it, and it beat the dog crap out of Case until Kit woke up from the dream. And then, when... <laughs> Master Oolong get fucking kit the Onyx deck. The motherfucker came just in time to say Maya. <laughs> and uh he you know he and he was being the dog shit out of his Ventara counterpart, Adam. And keep that in mind, Xavier Vented Kit then get the Dragonite deck to Adam. <laughs> But yeah, this yeah, this motherfucker kid this motherfucker kid used the Onyx deck and beat the shit out of Adam. And Ulan came in saying that, hey, hold on. Hold on. If you vent him, do you really want to turn your nightmare into reality? And kid's like, yeah, you know what, you're right. I sh I shouldn't be doing that. And thank God he was dead, cause this motherfucker this motherfucker Adam got cooked. He can he got ass kicked. Fuck, me talking about this woman gonna be watching Dragon Knight right now. I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. I got the uh, speaking of Kamen Rider. So, you got, I don't know if you guys don't know this, but, uh. Five is getting a 20th anniversary movie next year. <gasps> what? Five? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna be watching Five right now. Due to this movie announcement, and uh, I gotta be honest with you, I have not touched I have not touched episode sixteen ever since, and I got to uh, tonight. I'm going to binge watch a few episodes before I go to bed. But uh, yeah, Fies, God, my relationship with Fies in general, that whole show is just a complete, it's just a complete crap hole. I'll say. I say crap hole because it is a crap hole. I just don't like that show. Not one, not one, not one bit. Is it bad? No, I just, it's just fucking annoying. I know, I know, that's the point of five. It's supposed to get you mad. It just hurts my head sitting down watching the, watching like multiple episodes or one episode. I'm like, can you shut the fuck up? Dude, I'm sorry. No, I just gotta say this. I find my annoying as fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I want this woman to shut up. Let my boy talk to me do his own damn thing. God, why is Team 5 so annoying? Then we got the Orphodon. Fuck, Yuka just... Yuka... Yuka just... She's just there. She's just useless to be honest. She doesn't do much except for being a fucking love troll for in no way. And this Kaiza. Yeah, I know Kaiza is Kaiza Kaiza can Kaiza can just go get his neck snap and that's basically it. That's basically yeah. Kaiser can just go get his neck snap. That's yeah, pretty much it. <clears throat> Besides that, that's it. That 
that's just, that's it. I just really do not care what so one bit for this guy. <laughs> for that show. The only kid that I like in Fies is talking to me, because he's relatable to me. Kiba and Kaido, that's it. Everyone else, Mai's annoying bitch, fuck her, Keitro's useless, Kaija, Kaija, Kaiza, Kanzaka, he's just an ass, moving on. Yuka's just, again, a no love trope, she's just useless. And the, the villains, the villains don't do shit, moving on. And I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is the plot to this damn show. Because, like, literally, I, I asked my friends this. I want to know what the fuck is the plot to Fies. Because, buddy, I can't tell you. Like, no joke, I can't tell you a single thing about the plot to Fies except this. Fies is a show about, well... That's it. It's a show. And one of the funny about this, I'm rewatching Yuki as well because I I have not finished my rewatch. And uh, when I'm on break at work, I I'm when I'm, when I'm on, when I'm on my lunch break at work, I sit down while eating my lunch while watching like a few episodes of Yuki on my phone. I'm like, damn, this show's good. Why am I having a way more relaxed and fun time watching this show? Instead of Fies, because Fies just pisses me off. Because, like, no joke. Every time I sit down and watch Fies, I get more angry and angry. I just want to punch my screen. The last time a Tokyo show get, got me this, like, angry was Tokyo. And, uh, we all know how I feel about Tokyo on, on my channel. <laughs> ay, 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 what the fuck. It's crazy, though, how yeah, that video did that good. But, Jesus Christ, okay. Anyway, moving on from that. But yeah, though, uh, I'm be watching Fies. I don't like it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. But yeah, the Fies movie. What do I think? What do I think about the about his new suit? I like it. It's giving me a a mixer of the order of the Otto Vagine slash base five suit. It looks like a mix of both and I like that. If you don't want to know about the continuity, this movie does not take place after well, the summer movie. No, this takes place after the show. How do you know? It was clarified on the website. It's on Toei on the Toei website for this movie. And also, yes, the original cast will return for this movie. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Wait, would that mean Kaiza too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because fucking Kaiser's actors. <laughs> so apparently, I didn't know that. So you guys want another? What? So you guys want another main reason why Kaiser doesn't? Why Kaiser can't stay dead in Fi's con? Fi's content because his actor, his actor refused. His actor refused to can't. His, his actor refused for his character to be dead. Makes sense, but at the same time, fucking hell, dude, I get it. Okay, <laughs> listen, Kaiser's actor is a cool guy, well doubt. But fucking hell, dude. I know you and Noe are best friends, which probably the main reason why you, which probably the main reason why you were fucking Dawn Brothers for the final episode. Like fuck. Damn it, Kaiser's here. Well, to be fair, Kaiser's actor did say that uh he was watching Dawn Brothers and uh well he well he want he wanted to be in the show and since he is best friend with Inoue himself, because those fuckers, because those fuckers, Jesus Christ, those fuckers. Also, kind of find it weird how Kaiser's actor called the. I kind of I find it kind of weird how when Kaiser's actor was promoting the Kaiser manga for the first time, he made a video and uh, he said that, he said, these are his words, that this manga is his and Inoue's. 
baby. I'm like, sus. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. You not need to say that. <laughs> you not need to say that. Not one fucking bit. <laughs> Yeah, you do not need to, uh, well, say that, buddy, because, uh, no offense, sir, but I don't need to, I don't need to hear you talking about, I don't need to hear you talking about how this, uh, character, how this manga you, your friend made is your baby. Just, nah, bro, that's, nah, that's just weird. <laughs> That's just weird. But anyway, uh, yeah, for those are, but for, for all the five fans out there, <laughs> well, enjoy this movie. He got fucking out. I'm calling it now. Takumi's gonna die. I'm calling it now. Someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die because, dude, let's be honest. Fizer's continuity is complete fucking insane and broken. Because, okay. So, we have the original. So, we have the show that, that said that in there, Kaiser died by getting his neck snapped by Kiba, who, well, broke his neck and took his gear, well, his belt, and turned to Kaiser. Okay. Then we got the fuck. <laughs> fuck no. Then we got the movie Paradise Lost, one of my favorite movies, by the way. Yeah, don't worry. I have my. I want. I'm probably gonna talk about. I'm probably gonna talk about in the podcast about why I like that movie so much. But uh, in Paradise Lost, Kaiser died by Pegasus. Pegasus turned him to fucking sand. And bam, Kaiser's dead. Okay, fair enough. Then you go to the Tyson movies. The freaking. Hey, save the show movie. In my, in my opinion, one of the most overhated movies. Because I know that movie is not a fan favorite. But here's the thing. I actually like that movie. <laughs> I know. It's a hot take. But, but I, actually do, I, I actually really do like that movie. Here's the thing. In that movie, sorry, in that movie, they said that uh, that they said that Takami was facing grief for the death that for the death of Kaiser because him and Kaiser fight the Orthodons. But uh, here's the thing about that. But uh, here's the thing about that uh. <clears throat> Here's the thing, here's the fucking thing about that. I don't fucking believe that. <laughs> so you're telling me that, uh, this, so you're telling me the new continuity is that Takami and Kazaka were fighting the Orthodox on the beach? But yeah, in reality, that didn't fucking happen in the show. If I remember, actually, I do remember this. Kaiser. Every time Kaiser, every time Kaiser transform, his body, his body beat the shit out of him because, well, he had, well, he had a fucking limit on how long he could transform in the second half due to him having like a fucking orthodont brain inside his body. And uh, well. <laughs> Let's just say, let's just say that, uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck, it, it, really, it, really, it really been a while since I watched Fives, and, uh, <laughs> the, only, the, the only thing, the only thing I remember from that is that, is this, Kizaka, Kaiser, went to the fucking beach trying to find Mai, but, but, uh, it was, well, it was, well, well, it was a trap, and uh, well, Kiba took his fucking gear, turned to Kaiser, 
then snap his fucking neck and turn him into a trick. A trick. A fucking. He snapped his neck like a damn trick. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Now I don't want a Kit Kat bar. Bye, bye, this, bye. Uh, oh, wait, why did I say it three times? This is a uh, spoiler for those that for those that haven't watched Five, so please do not watch this part of the podcast segment. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sorry, sorry, but uh, but yeah, uh, ay ay ay, ay ay ay. What the fuck? You know what's crazy though? Next year, two thousand four, uh, twenty anniversary for Super Hero Time, and uh, we all know what we all know what next year is gonna be. Yes, yes, it's the best comedy show right next to Bill, in my own opinion, and the best Sentai show. Like, like, bro, bro, no one won best Super Sentai show. Don't at me. Comrade Blade and Toku Sentai Decorange. Okay, we are fucking no Decorange just can't train in a version movie. <laughs> Dude, it's totally, f- it made fucking sense, cause Operator got one, Hurricanes got one, I am like, it only makes sense for the big three to get anniversary movies. Yeah, Degrin's just getting one, without a doubt, it's real enough, it's getting one. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be losing my shit when that happens. No, no, I will be losing my shit when I see a trailer, when I see a trailer, when I see a trailer for that, people better tag me. Say Apple Subtle. I'm like, wait, I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? I'm like, wait, I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? I'm like, holy shit! Wait, hold up! No, no, stop it, stop it, stop it! Don't mess with my emotions. <laughs> Don't mess with my emotions, please. Leave my emotions alone. I need, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. Okay. Okay, I need to calm down, because this is, this is just unreal. Toei is cooking next year with peak cinema for Sentai and Kamen Rider. And, uh, I will, we will be there, or well, I will be there to watch that unfold. Because, God damn it, Toei, you know, you fucking know. Let's do this. Let's do this. Just dude, no offense. Out all the comrades that got like so many cameos. Besides, well, let's say four days, but nah. Blade never got like all that treatment and cameo. Well, well, I don't know. Yeah, there are a few times. There are a few times his actor appears again. But uh, I mean like, I mean like, I mean like for movies. Yeah no, yeah no, it yeah no, it just it just it just someone it just someone impersonating him, but uh, a blade twenty a blade, but a blade twenty year in a movie would, would be perfect. <laughs> now the question is though, how the question is, though, how 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 the hell are they gonna do it? Because fucking Zio fucked up Blade's uh timeline. <laughs> oh God, I hate that show. You uh, know, well, if you know what happened, you know what happened in Blade, then, then, uh, then, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know what happened, uh, well, but yeah, fuck, fuck, but yeah, if you know, yeah, if you know what happened in Blade, then you know what happened, well, Zio, I, I want to know. I want to know what's going to happen next year for those two Trey anniversary movies because Blade's getting one, yeah. But Decker Rangers the one I'm more hyped for the most because I love this show. We everyone already knows that I'm the number one. I'm the number one Decker Ranger fan, and uh, this is my all time favorite Sentai. You have your Go Kaiger, you have your Time Ranger, you have your Looper for the Potter Rangers, you have your Zen Kaiger, but nah, none of those shows. Live up to decorating for me, because this show is fucking beautiful. I love it. The 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 fight scene, the the perfect choice, the perfect the per, perfect the perfect moment for comedic value and seriousness as well. And the good writing, the mechs are amazing. The suits are beautiful. The cast is enjoyable as hell. I have a, I have like no issue with the show. Maybe the pacing at time, but that's just it. 
Besides that, this show is really fucking good, dude. I love it. Dragon Ranger is the type of show I, I can I can look back at and say, yeah, I love this show. <laughs> it's my favorite Sentai because, damn. Why I wasn't the biggest fan of how Shout did the uh, release for the for that show on DVD, I am happy that that my favorite Sentai is now legal to watch over here in America. And that makes me happy. But, uh, at the same time, uh, what, I'm say time, I want to know, what the, f I want to know, who will be cooking next year for Decker Ranger Cup, dude, no offense, last year was the year of Hurricane Jerry, because they, re because they really, so much Hurricane Jerry content, last year, <laughs> the fucking, sorry, sorry, they announced the, uh, they, the Dawn Brothers and Hurricane just stage tour, stage show tour, due to due to her due, due to be Hurricane Just 20th anniversary. The announcement of the movie due to be Hurricane Just 20th anniversary, and Hurricane Just trending nonstop in Japan last year again due to be Hurricane Just 20th anniversary. But now this year it's Abba Rangers. <laughs> because oh boy. I can't wait for I can't wait to watch that movie. But next year, Decker Rangers, no, boy, oh my goodness, dude, I'm gonna be losing my shit for for our Decker Rangers. It's gonna be so good. Will will we will we be watching that? Yeah, I will. I love it. I'm going to. Oh my goodness, I'll be crying. If you guys want like a reaction video of me showing, if you guys want like a reaction video of me uh, reacting to it, please tell me because I will do it because fucking, uh, fucking hell, this is a, uh, this, this is going to be a, this is going to make me cry, dude, because I know it is. <laughs> Again, I love Deku Ranger. It's my favorite Sentai. Number one. Seeing this is gonna seeing this is gonna make me fanboy the shit out of it. Well, yeah, I'll be fucking happy, that's for sure. <laughs> I love it. Also hey, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I love it. So Toei, hit me with your best shot next year. <laughs> this year's not even over yet. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So I didn't tell you, so I got to I got, I got a confession to make. <sighs> Lately I've been watching the Ultraman Z dub and uh, that dub helped me clarify something about about my type in women. Oh god, I can't even say that. I fucking love Yuka in that dub. Well 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 the well, the character in general. Because here's the thing. My type in girls are basically Nerdy girls with glasses. <laughs> That's basically my fucking type, and I love it. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't care what race he is, because, well, that doesn't matter with me. I see all races as, I see all races, well, equally. That's all. That's on that's on messed up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> no, what I mean is that I don't see a problem with any race to be to be my dream girl. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm tired, by the way. I think you can tell, so please forgive me. This episode won't come out till tomorrow morning. So yeah. But back on, but back on, as I was saying, back on, but back on, as I was saying, is this. <laughs> God. I have, like, I, I just find nerdy girls fucking, well, attractive. That's it. <laughs> I find, I find, ner I find nerdy girls attractive. I can't explain to you why. Actually, I can't explain to you. It's just 
Fuck, dude. I love nerd girls. That's why. I'm a nerd myself. I love nerd shit. <laughs> dude, no joke. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's a fact. Girls find nerds attractive. They find geeks attractive. Like, no joke. There are, there are, there are women out there who are so, there are women out there. There are women out there who are big fans of guys who love anime and nerd stuff in general. Comics. <laughs> Let's say Star Wars, Star Trek, Harry Potter. They, they will love you for that. How how do how do you know this, Aaron? I'm a fucking for fuck's sake. I'm an introverted I'm an introverted black guy with ADHD. Trust me, I know my stuff. I don't know why I had to say all that, but uh, yeah, it's true though. And yes, it's true. I'm an introvert with ADHD. Yeah, well, I love being I love being an introvert. Why? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's talk about it, shall we? I'm not, um, I don't like big. I don't. High school is where my high school self was. Where I was at my prime. I was like, yeah, I was really peak back then for this. But now, now me right now, I can say with the benefit of the doubt. That uh, I'm not the same. I'm uh, I'm not the same broke as I was in high school. And well, no duh, I'm 22 years old now, and uh, I'm <laughs> and I'm talking on my podcast about about Japanese kids shows and uh and other stuff that's going on in my life right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah. Damn it, I lost my train of thought. I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah. It's fun looking back at the past for me and saying, huh. Yeah, I was cool back then for doing this and that. I still am to a day. <laughs> but at the same time, the past is the past, and right now it's the present. And, uh, well, it's time to change a lot of things, that's for sure. <laughs> I do yeah being introvert does have his does have his things does have the props I get to be like I get to have I get to be like well alone I get to well I get to my I, I get I get to mind my own business and uh well well I'm just not a big fan of big crowds. It's hard for me to say. I'm just not in general. And I, well, that's just annoying. Yeah. <sighs> One of crazy though. How you guys want to know? You guys, you guys want to know when I discovered I was an introvert? That's easy. It was actually last year. Wait, what do you mean last year? Uh, it was last year, in fact. A YouTuber that I watched, I'm not gonna say his name. That's not gonna say his name. A YouTuber I watched named Disguised Toast. I think it was this year, or last year. He went on a trip to Japan, and uh, he said in one of his videos that uh. He's an introvert, and uh, he likes to be alone. And uh, I said to myself, "Whoa, I felt that actually. No joke, I actually felt that. Cause I, I'm the same way, dude. I'm an introvert, as well, and I like to be alone. And I totally understand that. <laughs> because being introvert, I feel like, listen, I, I love meeting new people. No joke, but at the same time, I want to be alone." <laughs> I want to be alone. Like I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Like with a small group, you can say. But like, if you're asking me to go to a party, my answer would be, oh, a party. 
Okay, uh, who's going to be there? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Sure, I'll go, but at the same time, I won't stay for that long. And that's basically it. And that's basically... <laughs> and that's basically fucking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of big, like, get-togethers. Because... I don't know, dude, it's just... My, like, fucking, uh... My fucking, uh... Insecurity, I could say. As well. My... My insecurity, as well. Add that... Add, add that with my, like... Add, add that with my, uh, introvertness. It's just... Way too much for me to be like in a big crowded room with people. I just, I just want, I just like being alone. That's it. <laughs> it sucks. Yes, but at the same time, that is, it is what it is. <sighs> well, here we are now. But yeah. Also, I have a hot take. So. As much as I like Yoko from Ultimate Z, Yuka is, Yoka is, uh, fuck, I love this girl more than Yuko. Oh, oh, hot take, hot take, hot take, cancel Bokusatsu, <coughs> had to cancel Bokusatsu, he did Ultimate hot take. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. Again, I have a fucking, again, I, I have a, I have a. Again, my I have a type for I have a type for nerdy girls with grass. I have a type for nerdy girls with glasses. I just think that I just think that makes them attractive, but that's just me. Why? Well, this, well, I just fucking do. I don't know. Cause if I'm gonna be honest with you, girl for gla girls for glasses. Are attractive. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it appropriate. Possible. Relax. 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 But uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about something that happened like it went last week on Twitter. It was last week. Holy shit. So last week on Twitter was pretty crazy. I'll say. And, uh, my friends at one of my, my friends at Runway Podcast already talked about it, but there's no reason we talk about it here, but I'm going to bring it up, because why not? Last week, the trade community went haywire by talking about Vice's actor again, and, uh, well, a lot of things happened. I got blocked. I'm going to... <laughs> People, people, people do not like what I said about 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 my two cents about that whole about the whole thing, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, people were also ignoring me too. I want to make this. I want to make this clear. I was not supporting. I was not like my treat. I made. Was mostly saying that okay, I was, I was mostly saying that you can like the character, and that's it. Release all your anger towards the character, just not the actor. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, that's not wrong. Wait, fuck. I mean, you can release all your anger towards the actor, just not the character. I'm so sorry, guy. I, did, I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. I'm too tired. <laughs> yeah. If you have like anger towards like an actor, release it for the actor, not the character, because I think the character of Vice get way too much hate because of he's being voiced by Subara. And I want to say that for the love of God, please, guys, guys, I'm gonna say it nicely. Stop antagonizing <laughs> Subara on Twitter. Like, listen. I have the guy blocked, but I know that people I know that people were fucking antagonizing him so many times on Twitter. And for God's sake, 
Please do not tag the guy. No. Listen. I hate it when people tag someone for on for. I hate I hate I hate it when people tag that one person for in drama, but yet they had no reason to tag them. Because, what was the point of you tagging them? Because they guess what they won't fucking listen to you. And Subaru made that pretty much Subaru right his acting made that clear multiple times. He did not care. He did not care. Wanna know why? Because every time someone calls him out on Twitter, the motherfucker blocks them. Like no joke. Every time, every time someone calls him out, every time someone calls him out for it, every time someone calls him out for his for the racist shit that he did. He, he, he didn't apologize. No, he blo he'll block you on Twitter. And want to say this. I want to say this. For those that are boycotting Revice, I want to say this. You do that, but yet at the same time, you guys buy the fucking toys. Just saying. And I want to say this. That money ain't going. That that money ain't going to write his voice out of his pockets. No, it's going to Bandai. So, keep boycotting Revive, but at the same time, you, same time you keep doing that, you're, you're buying the toys. You're buying the toys. You're buying the fucking toys. You're buying the fucking toys. Now here's my hot take. Vice, his character isn't all that bad. Not perfect. I do think that I do, I do think he's a little overhyped, but at the same time, he doesn't deserve all the hatred. The actor, the voice actor, he's a piece of shit human being. Because, as Knox said it on the Running on the Running Man Token podcast, he is basically Japan's version of a black man because he voiced so many black characters in t in movies. I'm about to say, I'm about to say TV shows, not a movie. He voices Mog Duke in uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. He voices Knuckles in the Sonic 2 in the Sonic 2. He voices Sebastian in the live action Little Mermaid. <laughs> and for fuck's sake, this voice this, this fucking voice Toto from Jujutsu Kaisen. And I love Toto. And also he voices the uh, ki he also voiced the Q Mod Changer from Q Ranger. But also, also I, I kind of find that funny though that 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 people I, I do find it funny though that people are boycotting Revice because of Vice's actor voice actor. But at the same time, these are the same people that bought the Q Ranger Changer, but yet they but yet they still don't care. Just saying, just just fucking saying. Just saying. My friend, oh my, my friend also made it clear on his on on about about this whole the whole drama did. I want to now. I want to now. I want to say this. If I remember from from what, from what I remember from what I remember him saying, he was talking about how yeah, how yeah he find uh I think I think he said that uh. The separating for the act, separating art from art thing, stupid. Now I want to say this. I want. I want to make this clear. Make this perfectly. I want to make. I want to make this clear by saying this perfectly without interrupting. Okay. Yes, it is true. Separating the art from the artist has its limits. You know that's true. But at the same time. But at the same time, if you have, if you have like all this anger towards. A voice actor, and you're releasing on a fictional character, buddy. Do me a favor and just, and just, buddy. Do me a favor. Do like everyone a favor, and basically release that anger on a punchy bag. Because trust me, I have my fair share of anger toward actors and actresses doing scummy things, and I do. How do I release that anger? Well, there's a thing called meditation. You don't want to go all, you don't want to go all like freaking Black Lesnar. No, 
No, no, no. You don't. You don't. Y'all don't want to be like fucking Broly from Dragon Ball Z or Super saying Kakura or Wah! <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I like this. I like Broly from Dragon Ball Super, but Vic Mayana is a slimy piece of shit human being. Just saying. If you have anger towards a, if if you have anger towards a, towards a towards an actor, yet you really have a fictional character, then this then we have an issue. Then we have an issue. Then we have then we have like an issue with that, because that's like one because that's like one of my main problems, right now, in media, because people had the anger towards a fictional character, yet they release it on, on innocent. No, I'm not calling Vice for like the innocent. No, I'm not talking about him anymore. I'm talking about I'm talking about other things. I'm, I'm talking about other actor actors in general. Perfect example, Ultimate Trigger is not a Gilderman show. It's not. But guess what? When the show ended, people were harassing Kingo's actor and calling him, calling him horrible names. And guess what? He still get the hate this very day. Now I want to say this. His actor did nothing wrong. He didn't. He was just he was just listening to he was just following directions and read the script. He was doing his job. It's not his fault it's not his fault that the writing for Trigger was you know was interrupted and interfered by Bandai and wanna make more fucking money off the damn toys. But no. Help this same shit happened to the Megaforce cast too. Cause people had hatred toward that show. Because how bad Megaforce and Super Megaforce were, and yet they released it on the actor and actresses. Now, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Go Kaiser. I don't care from Super Megaforce, but the cast doesn't deserve all the hate. Just saying. And it's annoying, though. It's so fucking annoying, though. I'm not the. Okay. 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 For example, this happened last year. In fact, when the Obi Wan when the Obi Wan show came out on Disney Plus, people were harassing and saying death threat to the third sister, to the uh, to the wait wait what's the third sister? The <laughs> the one uh, Inquisitor, who was the the what the, the I can't call her black Inquisitor. No. The one Inquisitor. That Honda Kenobi, they were saying death threat to her actor, to her actress. Now I want to say this. I didn't like the third sister. I find her annoying in Kenobi. But guess what? The act it wasn't the actress's fault. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like people can't really I feel like people just can't separate the anger towards a fictional character. And put it in relation on an innocent actor that was just doing their job because this happened so many times, it's actually getting really annoying. Like, listen, guys, I have my fair share issues too with celebrities and how they treat their fans and how scummy they are. Yes, but <laughs> but at the spot, move aside from that. They're also actor. But there are also celebrities out there that get unnecessary hate and death threats just because just because just because that just because that group people do not like their character. It's fucking disgusting. It's honestly disgusting. Vice voice actor should make an apology. Yes, I actually agree. He deserves I actually do agree. He needs to make a fucking apology to the black community because what he did was dis what he did was disgusting and scummy. And yet, one one of one of pissing me off about it. Japan does not care. Japan does not care, not what so bit, and that's fucking disgusting and messed up. What are you talking about? Japan care? Nope. Japan does not care, not one bit. You know it. I know it. We both know it's true. Japan does not. 
cat not one fucking bit. And dude it is annoying as hell. It's disgusting. Yes, Lawson is fucking annoying. Because it is one it is one hundred percent unacceptable and nah. This this can't slide. This can't sl I can't let this slide. Not one not once so bit. Not once so bit. <laughs> I can't talk right now, I'm too tired, dude. Yeah, this cannot slide. Not one bit. So you want you want to know why want to know how the hell the how the hell that got into all this, all into this whole vice drama last week? Well, a f a, f a couple of people on the timeline were talking about vice, and I'll tr I'll and I said I put my two cents in there saying oh, yeah, the character miss the character miss overhated, misunderstood and overhated. He's not that bad. People did not like that. Well, well, Twitter, Tokyo Twitter went on an up war, we'll say. And, um, uh, yeah. Let's just say when that happened, someone, someone did not like what I said. And, well, <laughs> fucking dumb, too. They blocked me. Then they unblocked me. Then they, t then they tagged me in a voice message. Where I told them, like, was it really necessary for you to tag me? Because, like, it wasn't that necessary in the first place. Like, you tag me in a fucking tree. But, yeah, hey, thing. You keep it tagging it by tagging me. You shouldn't be doing that. Then that the motherfucker blocked me. I'm not going to say who he is because, because I'm not getting, like, no clout. Uh, but, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I just... Fucking can't... I fucking, fucking can't with the fandom. Black Twitter... Black Toku Twitter say that we need to... We need to listen to black voices. I'm like, okay, I hear you guys. Guess what? I'm fucking black too, and none of you motherfuckers were listening to me. So what's up with that? Like, black black talk and trade talk about we need we need to listen to fucking we we need to listen to voices all of them. But yeah, no no one was listening to my voice the whole time. They was just fucking ignoring me. It's getting annoying. It hurts too. They fuck they fucking hell, dude. Damn it! I'm happy that I'm, I'm happy I'm not on Twitter right now, but can't lie but tell you that I, I feel like I always get I always get fucking ignored on that platform. It it fucking hurts. It's annoying too. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional right now. It's just, uh, dude, I don't like that. Ah. Uh. All right, moving, <laughs> moving on from that. Let's talk. Let's talk about Geats and King Ultra. Oh, fuck. Where did I fall? Well, uh, last time we talked. Last time, what happened? Uh, we talked about Geats. I was talking about. I was talking about the episode that a uh, buffer, uh, well, eliminated Geats and Tycoon and basically became a god in his ideal world. So what? Ha so what happened that episode after that? Well, Buffer went on the main. Buffer went on the rampage, and uh, Geet or Ace came back. But this time, uh, this time he was on. Um, you kind of say on Buffer's side, and oh uh, well. And uh, well. He went well. He he beat he beat the dog shit. Out of, <laughs> out of the weapon, out of the design Grand Prix, about out of the new game master, we'll say. In the same episode, well, yeah, in the same in the same episode, Takewa's sister became a comrade, became part of Zai Grand Prix. 
and uh, KY sponsored it as a uh, Baylor, but fuck, bootleg eyes, I'm calling her. I'm sorry, I can't remember her fucking name. <laughs> he asked her to revive Tycoon. Well, she did it, right? Motherfucker lost his memory until he touched his well, ID cord again, and he got his memories back. He's not even pretending that he doesn't have them. I do love the I do I do watch, I did watch the late episode today this morning and I, I love it because I said to myself damn it fuck it's really good also I love I love the relationship between Sarah and Neon because fuck dude it's so fucking good <laughs> why is this relationship so fucking bad than the one from We Life with, with Sakura Aguilera hell that fucking relationship wasn't you know, hell that. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to call that in Revice. My God, <laughs> fucking hell! Sakura wasn't even a damn character in that show. Oh yeah, I did tell you guys this, but uh, uh, this week, well, I think it was this week or last week, one or two. I got, I got, I got the Sakura fan base mad as fuck. Boku, what did you do? Okay, let me explain. <laughs> It was stupid, but Mike. So someone made a poll of female writers, and our Sakura Gina came in loving place, and I quote tweeted because well everyone else did. I said that I can't tell you a single thing about the character. I left, I left that tweet alone, my own business on Twitter and my own business and IRL, and I decided to go on Twitter and I and one my and someone well. Well, five people quote tree that tree. Three private, two not. And, uh, my God. My God. I don't want to point this out. If someone has a different opinion on you, on a character that you like, and they don't, do me, do a favor and fucking respect that opinion. Listen. I don't agree with I don't agree with, I don't agree with a lot of my friends' opinions on well in the community because sometimes I see opinions can be valid or fair criticism. That's but mm -hmm. at the same time, if you like if if you like for nitpicking for the for your so what opinion then uh yeah I'm just I'm just gonna call you out on that saying how how yeah that that that's kind of unfair. But my God, I'm sorry. I just don't see anything. I just don't see the hype with Jeannie's character. I like the suit. Her the character itself is just a fucking Gary. Not Gary. Stu, no, no. She's just a fucking Mary Stew. A Mary Sue. I'm gonna say Gary. Stu, no, a Mary Sue. How is she a Mary Sue, Boku? The fucking writers had no idea what the hell her character is, because oh. Oh, Sakura's so cool and all that. <laughs> Motherf motherfucker got bitch slapped by Ren in the Jeech and Revice movie. I was laughing my ass off when that happened. I'm like, God damn, Ren. You didn't, you didn't need a bitch slap. You didn't need a bitch slap her. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, okay. Okay. Well, my favorite Yuki character came in with the drip in the fucking night suit, as always. Bitch slap. Gene, I'm like, okay, my guy, don't do this, Naga. Well, he did the Naga as well, and that broke my heart. <laughs> and I like Neon. Fuck, she's my second favorite character in Jeez. Yeah, she's a way, she's a way bad character than Sakura. Don't at me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm sorry, I just don't, I just don't see the hype for Genie's character. I'm sorry for all the Genie fans out there. I just don't see it. I don't know, dude. I'm not. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to retouch Revice ever again. No, I just don't see the big hype of the character. Cause here's why I see. Here's why I think about when I see a character. Nothing. Like nothing. Nothing. Everyone. Like. <laughs> okay. Okay. The Revice family in a nutshell. Iki. He's basically he's basically a of jet he's basically the Japanese bus boy. <laughs> that that's not that's not race that actually sound racist. I didn't mean to No. I mean he's basically fucking Kenzaki from Blade. Perfect example. Slash 
Shinji from Ryuki. Kaido. Daiji. The middle child with multiple trauma issues. And my god. But yeah, he's my favorite character in the show. Gene. She's just there. That's it. She has a cool suit, and that's it. Genta and the mom. I forgot my mom's name. Please forgive me on that. They're cool. I like them. I and also, I do like their veil special as well. So, 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 so I gotta be fair about that too. But moving, uh, moving well alongside from that. Let's talk back on to G. This, this new episode is pretty fucking good. Not gonna lie. My boy, my boy Sparrow got, well, deleted. I was like, listen, I'm happy but at the same time I'm sad. Cause I, cause I actually like that fucker. But I hate him at the same time because he's just that goaded. <laughs> but yeah, I love, I love the relationship between Neon and Sarah. Cause I felt like a, I'm getting like a sisterly vibe from it. And I fucking love it. I fucking love it. KY being in the background protecting his sister at all costs. I love that. My my boy my boy's getting that my boy's getting that good care development. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. And uh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. This new episode this new G episode pretty good. So King Oger. Oh boy, King Oger. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on, hold on. That's fair. So, King Oger. Oh boy, this never saw King Oger or something, that's for sure. Well. Okay. <laughs> we got a new character, and we got a new character on Summer Sentai King Oger. And who is it? Fucking. God damn, I hate this show. For those that watch Akakurinko, you know that I said in one in one of my pod, in one of my podcast episode that there's a character in the show that that uh did like well that did a that did the, uh, that tried to do the R word I'll say to May's character in the show. I say that because it's the same fucking actor in uh in uh and uh, King Oldger, and he's playing a six ranger, and his name is Jamie. I'm like, oh god, that fucking face. The whole time I was silent watching the episode, I'm like, oh. that's myself. Oh god, it's him. <laughs> god, it's fucking him. And you know what's funny about this? Me and my friends made so many jokes about this, and about this, it was so bad. <laughs> oh god, he's our six ranger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he got a cool suit, but fucking hell. Every time I see his face, I just think about Aka Winko, and I hate that show so fucking much. I want that show to, I want, sure. I want that show to burn in hell. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But overall, it was a good episode. I got, I got, I got one complaint about you know, the King Oger. What the fuck up with Himiko? Change her damn hair, her damn wig. Like, my God, this 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 girl has so many freaking wigs. He changed in multiple episodes. Just stick with one, please. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Overall, from that. Overall, from that, this new episode was pretty good. <laughs> God. But, uh, oh, shit. It's midnight already. Damn. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end it. Thank you all for listening to my rambling. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And I'll put the notification button on for the next video. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs. And, well, with your guys' help, we can do that. Like, literally, support this video. Show this to many friends and family. I'm trying, I'm trying. We guys can help for real. We, we, you guys can help. I can reach a thousand subs because that's my goal for the end of the year. And uh, yeah, guys. My name's Aaron, and uh, I'm out. Have a nice night. Bye.